Hello everyone, my name is Devin Adams. I am an instructor for Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants here in Tempe, Arizona, and I'm also a certified Fortinet instructor, and I record these students, these students, <laughs> I'm always so tired, sorry guys, I record these videos for my students, and um, I'm, I, my goal has been to get more recording done, so um, I'm a single father of three boys, guys, so it's been very hard to find time to do this. And on top of that, I, I probably average a good two hours of sleep. But anyways, there was a lot of requests for some kind of demonstration about the natting options that are on the FortiGates. So that's what we're going to do in this series of videos. So um, right off the bat, let's go ahead and take a look at our goals for this demo. So the default mode on the FortiGates right out of the box are going to be what's known as a policy based NAT and that's where it's going to go ahead and match the firewall rules with a um, a firewall policy and essentially when we get down to the accept part of it it's going to go ahead and apply the natting options so uh, the the default is overload which uses NAT and also its little brother PAT to essentially uh, masquerade and and overuse a whole bunch of private IP addresses to one public IP address so um, in this lab environment obviously we have to make believe those IP addresses because we actually have internet connectivity so if you can see here if anywhere in this lab you see a 10.200 right it's gonna be our make-believe public IP address so um, we couldn't use, obviously, real public IP addresses because, well, this is the actual interwebs. So, anyways, so NAT is essential for routing across the Internet. So, uh, we have our RFC 1918 standards. Those are our private IP addresses that we can use internally, and they are just not routable. So, um, we need NAT turned on on our edge in order to traverse the Internet. So, um let's go ahead and do it so I'm gonna try to record a series of videos here by the way guys and I'll try to do all these options I'll probably not get to them all at at once but um there's this big central NAT option that they they've been pushing over at Fortinet and I say pushing because there's a lot of really neat features uh, by the way that are only available if you have central NAT tables turned on. So we're going to explore those after we get done here. But in this video, we're just going to do a default overload policy-based NAT. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, log into our FortiGate. So here we go. This is PC1. So let's type in our admin accounts and our super secret password. All right. And I've already set the IP addresses, obviously. And also, um, I don't think I did the default route. Oh, snap. Let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe I did through the CLI. Okay, I did do the quad zero. So if you don't tell the FortiGate how to get out to the Internet, it's not going to do anything. So, um, But let's go to Policy and Objects. Let's go to IP4. All right. As you can see, there's no firewall policy. So we're going to say Create New. And we're just going to do a internet access rely on that stateful firewall right guys so we're gonna say anything initiated from LAN to our WAN right and then our source now normally we'd make an object here that that defined the the subnets but that's not the example that we're doing here so I'm just gonna kinda slop through a <laughs> A very generic firewall policy but the the real takeaway message is this thing right here so in order to enable NAT guys that is that is it you just toggle that right there and it's going to use the outgoing interface of that WAN port right here so if we go back to our topology map oops if we go back to our topology map this port 1 right here is 10.200.1.1. So that is what it's going to be doing for its natting. So uh, let's go ahead and commit those changes. And let's just generate some traffic here to see if we can actually get out to the Internet. So, all right, here we go. By the way, what's the number one thing that people being search? 
it's Google. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see here, we're we're obviously getting to Google. So I'm gonna just say like something like "Hello World" to establish some connection. So we're we're getting out to the internet. So let's see what's actually happening on the FortiGate itself. So um, I did not turn logging on, guys. You should not have to do logging to look at your session table. Granted, you can do it through the CLI, but the easiest way to do it is just going to your FortiView right here. All the way at the bottoms in all sessions, and I've actually added a few um, options for the natting so we can see it in action. So here we have our actual source IP address, our source port, and then you can see the natted IP address and the natted source ports. So essentially, guys, uh, it is going to go ahead and swap out the IP addresses. All right. Now, if you if you notice, there's really no padding going on. <laughs> padding going on. That's because we only have one source IP address. So I promise you guys, if we had multiple IP addresses here, it could also go ahead and nat the the source ports there, so our overloading doesn't go out of out of hand. So, but as you can see here, um, natting is happening. And it's making that swap out so it's traversable on the internet. And then as it comes back in, the netting can uh, go ahead and put the private IP address and it can go forward. So uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So um, not hard there. So I'm going to end the video right there simply because I try to keep these pretty short. Um, when we come back though, we're going to take a look at IP pools. And IP pools are going to be where we actually have like maybe. Uh, a fixed set of IP addresses that are publicly facing, and we want to we want to pick from that pool. So, um, or maybe we want to do something other than the default uh, WAN IP address that is sitting there, but obviously it has to be routed to it. So when we get back, we're going to go ahead and create an IP pool, apply it onto our FortiGates, and we'll see the effects. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you.